So my aunt was like, me and my aunt was like this. She's 12 years older than me. So we was like always best friends. And she was going to go hustle a little weight down in South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? So she like, yo, Celeste, come with me down there. You know what I'm saying? We got to go move this product real quick. I'm like, all right, bet. Let's go. We get on a little Greyhound bus, go to South Carolina. Um, she ended up meeting my daughter's father and his cousin. So my daughter's father was helping move the work for her. So, of course, I'm in the trap house with them all day, every day. And I'm like, okay. So he's, you know, because he's a nice guy. He's dumb. He's dumb as fuck. But he's a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? So he's sitting there like, oh, you know, you want to eat? He's making me food. He's doing this. And me, I like ugly guys and nice guys. Like, if you find, yes, but I love a nice guy. I love an ugly guy. He's ugly and nice. So, you know, I was like, all right, you know, I kind of, you know, I kind of like him. Then we started dating. Then I came, um, you know, after the work was gone, we came back home to New York. He's like, oh, come back to South Carolina. We go back there to go move some more work. And then my aunt is like, yo, like, let's go. We going back home to New York. And I'm like, no, but I think I really love him. And like, she really tried. She wanted to fight me. My aunt tried, like, you know when your aunt, this is my best friend, mind you, like, when I got my first belly ring, like, my aunt has taken me to do everything. So, of course, like, when she's trying to fight me, like, get, you are coming back home with me. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere. I love him. <sighs> listen to your aunts, man. Listen to your mom. Listen to your aunt. Listen to an older person when they say somebody is the devil. But I stayed. I got pregnant. Then I was like, oh man, what am I going to do now? And then I didn't want my dad to find out, so I like ended up like enrolling in college. Because, you know, I'm, I ain't take that. Like in, in America, you got to take the SATs and stuff in order to go to college and all the other stuff. I ain't do none of that. So like I wasn't really thinking about college. I just was like, y'all, I'm going to just make money however I can make it. I don't care. So um, I enrolled in college. And I had told my sister I was pregnant. My older sister, she's 18 years older than me. And I remember my dad just called me one day like, are you pregnant? And I'm like, bro, I'm not even living in the same state as you. So I know my sister snitched on me. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? There's only two people I told was my brother. And I know my brother didn't tell. So my brother was like, you want me to give you some money for an abortion? And I was like, no. Well, no, I'm so happy he did. But you know what I'm saying? Off of that now. Hell yeah. But um, yeah, so, you know, I just ended up getting pregnant and you know, was, but I was in college. I did graduate college with a 4.0 GPA. Like, my daughter was the best thing that happened to me because I really think that if I didn't get pregnant, I don't even know if I would be here right now because I was really into some very mischievous stuff. So I would be dead or in jail. <laughs> so I needed my daughter to just help me, like, get on the right track, you know, level up, have something to live for because, again, if you have nothing to live for, you just out here doing anything while and out because what do I have to live for? So, 